Rosetta Le Noir Award was established in 1988. It recognizes outstanding artistic contributions to the universality of the human experience in American theater. The award is given to an individual, theater, or producing organization with an exemplary record in the hiring or promotion of ethnic minorities, female actors, and actors with disabilities through multiracial and or non-traditional casting. Who on earth could that be talking about but Christine Toy Jones? <laughs> For those of you who may not know her, and I don't know how that's possible, because yeah. Christine is on every equity committee. <laughs> but Christine is an extraordinary triumvirate, not a triple threat. She's an actress, singer, dancer. She's a writer. She's a producer. She's an award-winning documentary filmmaker. And all of these things, at the forefront of Christine's experience, is her determination to change things for people of color, her determination to give a voice to people who are different, people who don't look or sound like each other. Christine has had an incredible career on Broadway, um, off-Broadway, regional theaters, out of the country, and small white theaters in the woods where we performed. <laughs> she, where we're the only people imaginable. <laughs> and she always instills in every job she does, every place she goes, this unique ability to make to gather people this unique ability to make people realize we must make a difference. Once you leave her, you have to change the world. She makes that her responsibility, and then it becomes your responsibility. A prime example of that is the film that she did several years ago with her husband, Bruce, which was incredible, which was about the first Asian American player in the NBA. And her ability to make something that could be ridiculous, something that people could not believe. Her ability to give you, to take you inside, that's what Christine does. She does it as a performer. She does it in every possible way. There's a quote that she loves, which is, go where you are celebrated, not merely tolerated, by Paul F. Davis. And it should be by Christine Toy Johnson, because it's what she says, it's what she lives, it's what, if Rosetta Lenoir were here, she would say, this is exactly what this is about. Christine and I had a friend who recently passed away, a man named Kevin Gray, and I went to college with him. And he also opened doors, but I don't think Kevin ever realized what he did. I don't think he ever knew what happened because when he passed, we all talked about what he did and it was this outpouring that I wish Kevin could have seen. I am so thrilled that we are here today to celebrate her, that we can say to Christine, thank you. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for the people that you touch. Thank you for this tireless energy that you have to change the world. And coming up soon, she's actually playing Dolly Levi in Hello Dolly. I know it's Wire's company. Yes, <laughs> which is and it's what Christine does. And I want to have the, the I want to have happen this day where I will talk about this, her playing a role like Dolly, and it not be unusual that it not be special, that it's not unique. What is unique is her extraordinary performance, not the fact that someone who looks like her is doing that role. And I know that's what Christine desires, that's what she does, that's what she pushes, and I'm so very proud as her friend and comrade and sometimes fellow diva to, <laughs> to congratulate her today and to now present her with the 2013 Rosetta Lenoir Award. Yeah. Uh, those 
who I stand side by side with every day fighting the good fight. Um, of course, we all stand upon the shoulders of those who came before us. And I am so grateful for the legacy of Rosetta Lenoir and what it means and how it lives in each one of us who is lucky enough to work in the theater today. I, um, I want to um, really thank all of my colleagues here at Equity for their, their deep commitment to diversity. There are really too many people to, to name, everyone from our exemplary executive director, Mary McCall, to Robert in the mailroom and everyone in between, <laughs> um, our, our EEO uh, business drugs across the nation in the East, Pearl Brady, in the central region, our national EEO director, Luther Goins, in the West, uh, Michael Van Duzer. Um, our contract associates and Maria and David in communications who work so hard with us to make sure that our message of wanting diversity and inclusion is out there in the front, in the news, and in our blue book language. Um, Kimberly Rimball, Tom Carpenter, so many people, our, my fellow counselors, uh, the officers, um, all of the EEO committees across the nation and their chairs, and of course my valiant co-chair here in the East, Julia Renetta Simpson, um, and the membership for entrusting us to do this work. Uh, I want to thank Sharon Jensen, who nominated me. She is, uh, as many of you know, the Executive Director of Alliance for Inclusion in the Arts. This woman does more good for the industry than she'll ever admit to. Uh, Nina Lannan. wrote this beautiful uh, letter of support for me along with two of my other personal heroes, David Heinrich Wong and Ginny Lelutis of Art New York, who couldn't be here today. But thank you, Nina, for, for continuing to help us build bridges between the Broadway League and Equity. It means so much. <laughs> my mom and dad are here. <laughs> because to get a chance to say thank you to them for teaching me that I can do whatever I want to do. And that's why I have to keep trying until you know, I get there. Um, and um, of course my husband Bruce, who's my rock and who continually challenges me to, to dream bigger. Uh, he's not only there to, to pick up the pieces when the dreams fall apart, but also to help celebrate all the, the triumphs and uh, we are we are partners in crime till uh, till the end of time. Uh, as as Charles mentioned, um, I am about to get a chance to play Dolly Levi in this two night only uh, performance of Hello Dolly, April 29th and May 6th, the signature, um, <laughs> <laughs> with another one of my longtime personal heroes, uh, Bayork Lee, her company. Yeah. National Asian Artist Project. Um, you know, we've come a long way since the day that uh, I once told an actor that I really wanted to play uh, Guinevere in Camelot someday. And he said, uh, well, yeah, I guess you could if it was theater for the blind. <gasps> oh. Yeah, talk about motivation. <laughs> it goes way back. Anyway, um, I recently did a, a press interview for, for Dolly, and I was asked, um, how would you most like to be remembered? A little, seemed a little morbid at the time, but you know, uh, I think it's something actually good to think about in our day-to-day -day life, right? And, um, and I said, you know, I really would like to be remembered as someone who loved the theater and who worked really hard to try to make it more inclusive. And uh, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me in this work and reminding me that no matter how steep the incline, and it's steep. <laughs> this dream that I have of full diversity and inclusion in the theater is one that is worth holding on to and running towards the finish line no matter what. Thank you so much.